This is a classroom exercise of a group of International Islamic University Malaysia students taking Introduction to Economics class. This video is prepared for educational purposes. Juvenile delinquent's behavior refers to the behavior committed by someone below 18 years old where it violates the criminal law. This delinquent behavior can range from less severe crimes such as stealing, robbery, substance abuse, rape, and weapon possession. There are many factors that could lead to the increased rate in juvenile delinquency. One of the main factors is the attachment with family and friends. If the adolescents are less attached with family and are more attached to delinquent peers, they are more likely to be involved in delinquent behaviors. Other than that, family socioeconomic status can also be a factor of increasing rate of social crimes by young citizens. Poverty, low socioeconomic status, harsh discipline, and deviant peer groups have been associated with juvenile delinquency. However, in other studies argue that youth with low development assets such as relationship skills and values were four times more likely to engage to antisocial behavior regardless of their economic status family. Another factor is due to globalization. It is stated that there is consistent evidence that shows a significant relationship between changes with respect to globalization and conduct problems among adolescents. Since globalization is very demanding and requires a lot of changes in the nation's political, cultural, economic, education, and social landscape, young generations are affected the most. For example, the urge for money and failure to secure good jobs in the labor market due to the change in the nation's economic policy have encouraged the affected people to do all that it takes in order to ensure their survival, including committing crimes. Further statement supported by stating that economic insecurity has impacted the involvement of adolescents at risk of developing conduct problems. In conclusion, the absence of effective measures to curb and overcome this problem may affect the country's economy growth and tourism industry. Therefore, effective preventive and rehabilitative measures must be implemented at the family, community levels, school and rehabilitation institutions in view of the fact that the younger generation will inherit the nation's wealth, place, profession and leadership.